What's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and I wanted to let you guys know about something you may have missed in the news that happened last night. So there was a secret Appetite for Destruction locked and loaded listening party in Los Angeles last night. So the reason we found out about this news is because one of the people on the MyGNR forums, um, X Freak, who I want to give a shout out to because whatever he did was super ballsy. So uh, basically he said that uh, he wasn't invited to the event, but a friend told him that there was something happening at MacArthur Park in downtown LA and he heard a rumor that the original Guns N' Roses lineup might be playing. They didn't end up even showing up to the event, but that's what he had heard previously. So he said, we went down there and quickly realized it was an invite only industry party. We cased the joint and realized it was locked down with security. We spent about an hour out front but decided we had to get in or get thrown out trying. I walked up to the ladies at the door and told them I was on the list, gave them my name and waited for them to pour over different lists. After looking for a while, they told me they didn't see my name. I looked confused and told them that the label should have done it and I went with this always happens. After a minute or so, they said, you know what, don't worry about it, here's your wristband. He said, at this point, we still really didn't know what was going on, but we walk up the stairs and see this. They took everybody's phones but forgot to take mine, so the pictures aren't the best because I had to be careful. So these are some of the pictures from the secret event that happened last night in LA. So there was a listening party and there was a bunch of other stuff going on as well. So he said there was listening stations for the new set. Unfortunately, I was too excited to be there and didn't actually get to listen to anything. In hindsight, I'm bummed out he didn't. Next, we went up the stairs to a big ballroom with a giant replica of their box set. So th these are some amazing pictures from the actual event. Um, he said on, the either, on either side of the contents of the box set was set in the glass case. So you can see some of the contents that's going to come in some of the um, bundles that are going to be released on June 28th. So there you guys see it. Um, here's some more pictures. These are some of the lithographs for each of the songs off Appetite that uh, you guys may have seen in the trailer for it. Here's some more lithographs. These are some more of those uh, band member lithographs that uh, they were showing off as well. I believe you get it in the $1,000 bundle and then you also get it in the $179.99 bundle as well. Uh, he said. He also said there was a photo booth with GNR flyers and logos all over it. The event itself was really stuffy and industry-like, and there weren't they weren't even playing the record, which was weird. There was a little GNR mixed in with other stuff like Foo Fighters and Alice in Chains. As we left, I couldn't help but grab ourselves a souvenir. They were on some of the couches and chairs, and once I saw it, there was no way I was leaving without one. So it's kind of funny they had these cushions that said Guns N' Roses was here, when in reality none of the members actually showed up to the event, as far as we know. So these are some more photos uh, of the event. Uh, these are actually off Instagram. So you can see some people that are at the listening station. There's Andre who works with Guns N' Roses. And uh, these are just some other photos from Instagram as well. So it looks like Captain Zova, was all, who's the band's photographer, was also at the event. So I thought I'd just share that with you guys. Um, that's pretty ballsy. Uh, to do something like that. I gotta give the guy credit though, that's pretty awesome. A lot of people on the forum said it was ridiculous how uh, the filthy rich always complain that they don't make even more money, but concerts are expensive as F these days. I'm pretty sure the lack of album sales is virtually irrelevant when show tickets are so expensive. So uh, some people said it was really disappointing that uh, they didn't really announce this for the fans. But if you guys remember when, App when uh, Chinese Democracy came out, they did announce uh, these listening parties that fans could go to. So I don't know if they're gonna do the same thing for this Appetite remaster. If they do, I'll let you guys know what uh, um, what the status of that is. Uh, one of some people were wondering who financed the event, the band. Personally, it sounds like it was probably Geffen or Universal who financed the event, since it seemed like there's a lot of industry types there. So that does it for today's video, guys. We got a podcast coming up later today. Um, make sure you guys tune into that. And then we've got videos coming out every day of this week in the run-up to Guns N' Roses' upcoming tour. So thanks for watching, guys, and have yourself a good one.